Proctor Ingram's terminal. Work orders. Type repair completed internal air conditioning unit. Air conditioning unit had burned out its condensing coil from overuse. Need to remind the soldiers that they can't constantly run the damn thing 24 hours a day. Copper condensing coils are tough to replace, so had to make do with homemade version. Unit should last a while longer with moderate use. Han Mr. Handy Cultivation Unit Got called down to lab area and their Mr. Handy was trying to cut through everything in sight. Was almost ready to get some soldiers to shoot the thing before it hurt someone, but it tried to cut through the bulkhead and burned up its motor. Pulled the logic unit and it looked like an old factory defect on the cultivation models. I've blown out the firmware and rewrote the instruction set to fix the issue. Replace the motor and put the unit back into service. Ventilation filter system. Installed a ventilation system over the rear laboratory space to help Naraya vent the stench of her mole rats to the exterior of the ship. Had to cut a few holes in the inner and outer plating, but triple welded everything to make sure it all stays tacked down. System's on a timer, so it shouldn't draw too much power from the ship's reserves. Was happy to help, since I could smell her rats all the way down here. Vertibird gunship, Vorpal. Vorpal threw a rotor on its last landing, so I hitched a ride with Spatha and headed out to the crash site. Pilot did a hell of a job bringing his bird down in one piece. All I had to do was recover the rotor and set it back in place. There's some minor plating damage on the starboard thruster, but I'll hammer it down when Vorpal gets back to the airport. Was well, nice to get away from the Pridwin for once. Hopefully I can convince Kells to let me head out with some future patrols. Sewage Lines I don't know what the heck the mess hall is serving, but the sewage lines were completely clogged. It was so disgusting. I had to borrow one of my buddy's power armor helmets to keep the smell from making me puke. Think I'd rather scrape rust off the exterior hull plating next time. <laughs> I don't blame you. Poor Ingram. Internal mail, Maxon. After having a long discussion with both Lancer Captain Kells and Knight Captain Cade, I've decided to deny your request for field service. While I understand that you've modified your power armor frame to accommodate your injury, and Cade has personally given it his seal of approval, I don't feel it's worth risking your life. You of all people should appreciate that machines can break down. In your particular case, if your frame fails while you're in the field, it could place you and anyone with you in extreme danger. Please don't take this personally, Ingram. I can't afford to lose you. My decision is final. I'm sorry. Cade. I'm guessing you've already read that Maxon is denying your fieldwork request. I did everything I could to talk him out of it, but he just wasn't convinced. If there's anything you need, even if you just want to talk about it, my door is always open. I hate to bring this up now, but you really need to head down here and let me tweak your leg hydraulics. Last time you were here, you complained that the shock absorbers weren't doing their job, dampening your impacts from walking. Well, I was able to tweak some numbers, and I'd like to look them over with you. After all, you're the expert when it comes to mechanical engineering. So, there. Now you have two excuses to visit me in the sick bay. I hope to see you in here soon. Tegan. I've got a little surprise for you. Remember how you told me about those sweets you loved so much? You know, the ones that looked like little colored discs? Well, Quinlan's last sleep, sweep and retrieve patrol just came in. And they found a whole roll of them. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. 
Now, how about heading over to my quarters this evening, and we can split it together. Don't worry, I'll be a complete gentleman. I just hate seeing you storm all over the repair bay with that damn scowl on your face. And I think this will cheer you up. Maxon, now that Captain Kells has transferred all of your materials down to the surface and the gantry construction has started, I think it's time we had to talk about the timeline of your new project. I'd like you to head up to the command deck as soon as possible so we can discuss the details. We have far too many resources tied up in this operation to allow anything to slip through the cracks. We have a war to win, Proctor. And I strongly believe that this ambitious project of yours will be our rallying cry. Poor Ingram. <laughs>